Or in the white handbook, it says that you have to be back, or you have to be after dark in, in areas that are, are well lit. And unfortunately, there are no well lit areas after dark in the Congo. Um, you're out in the Cartier. A Cartier is, uh, is French for like the neighborhood or just the area. So out in the Cartier, and it's dark, and oddly enough, like you, in the Congo, I never felt in danger after dark. Um, the people there are very, very nice. Um, there are a few areas that you that you'll learn um, when you go there that you you know you should stay out of just in general, especially after night. Um, but I never really had any any dangerous areas that I was in constantly. Um, the only time I was really, really threatened, I was in my first area and it was in broad daylight, middle of this busy street. And this, uh, I was with my trainer, he was talking to somebody and I was sort of like, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, didn't understand what they were saying. This guy came up, this is more just like a 15 year old kid. And he, he pulls out this knife. He says, give me money. I was just like, no, he's like, okay, and just walked off. So I was just like, that was random. <laughs> so in, in the Congo, I never felt like really in danger and danger. Um, the Cartiers are very, very open. People are very kind, and generous, and, and, and really respectful of you as, as a missionary. Um, I feel like you, you carry a little bit of protection just being a missionary and, uh, as well as wearing a name tag because the, the people there, they, they fear God, they, they love Christ, they, they, they love the gospel in general, just the idea of scriptures and, and, and the gospel. So they see you there and the first thing they want to do is, is talk to you or they, they, I mean, they, they, they automatically respect you just a little bit. And that gives you a little bit of protection because they're very superstitious. They don't want to mess with, don't want to mess with Jesus. Uh, so they, they, they generally don't give you any problems. Uh, that being said, you have to be smart about where you go. Um, I think uh, one of the reasons you stay safe longest is when you listen to your mission president and the missionary couple that, that are ser serving there. Um, cause they know better, they know what you need to do and things change. So they'll, they, they'll give you advice on what to do. Um, that was the Congo. Never really felt in danger, never really felt unsafe. We could get lost in the middle of this huge Cartier, have no idea where we are. In fact, we did that on purpose a few times just to find people. We just head off and, and get lost and we'd, Every time we got lost, someone would be like, hey, can I help you? Yeah, we'd like to talk to you for a little bit. we talked talk to them and then ask directions for the way out. And just, oh, yeah, you just go this way and that way. And they're very, very nice people. Very, I felt very safe there.